Aren't you tired of just sitting there? You've always had this dream that you always wanted to make into reality, but you just haven't made that first step. Today, we're going to try to motivate you and get to where you're already supposed to be. Boy, right after this. You were a star child. Let your light shine for all the world. When you open your mouth to reveal a pearl, let it shine more just to light the path. If it don't add up, man, just do the math. If it ain't for you, let it pass on through. I love Brother T. <laughs> How you doing? This is Terry Gown Wilson, AKA your boy, Brother T here with another one. So I'd like to thank you and welcome to the new life tree where we like to give you little pine cones of wisdom for your mental health. If you don't know what that is, stick around, stay on the channel, you'll get it. Today is just going to be one of those videos, family, where I give you a little bit of motivation. If you're sitting around, uh, you've always had this dream, this aspiration to do something great with your life. Trust me, that was where you were supposed to go. How can I explain this? Do you know in the movies when they talk about uh, uh, destiny and they go back in time and, and this was supposed to be your future, but you can change it. Guess what? People really do have predestinated places that they're supposed to be, but they can still change that if that makes sense, right? If that makes sense. Let's say uh, Michael Jordan, for instance, I always use that as an example because he's such a great player, right? But Michael Jordan was predestined to be the greatest player in NBA history. He had the mindset for it. He had the physical capabilities and everything just worked out perfectly. But if he chose not to get into basketball, if he got into basketball and was lazy, maybe he would have been a, a kind of a scrub player or maybe he wouldn't have been a player at all. Let's say, for instance, uh, he had chances to be on the team, but he chose to sell drugs or something. You get what I'm saying. You can still change your predestination by your choices, but it works in reverse, family. If you want to get where you're supposed to go in life, you also can change that course as well, right? Or you can make that course as well is what I meant. So if you start doing things going toward that goal, where you're supposed to be, you will end up there eventually. Trust me, it might take a little longer than you want, or it might not take as long as you want. But if you constantly put your energy towards it, energy is a very powerful thing. When you put your energy towards something, you'll, you'll be surprised how many times you're going to get that thing. So practically, what can you do to start going about obtaining some of these goals you have? You might have um, a dream of opening up a business one day or starting a YouTube channel or doing this and that. The first thing I would uh, tell you or advise you to do is write it down. You'll be surprised if you write something down and you look at it every single day. It starts not to be a dream anymore. It starts to be something that you can bring into reality because it's right there on the paper. It's something you can look at. It's something tangible. Either you're working towards that thing or you're not. You can read it but you have to work towards it, if that makes sense. You gotta put the action behind it. Look at it, that's visual. Put the action behind it. So you're thinking it, you had the visual, you're putting the action behind it. If you do that and you keep doing that and you keep doing that, you're going to get what you want in life. Trust me, when you write that thing down, that, that dream, that goal, that aspiration, I want you to write down what it is. Underneath it, I want you to write down the things you have to do to achieve it. Try to write down everything. Don't worry about how big the list is. Just write it down. And then as you go, just cross stuff out. I suggest doing things on there that first that are uh, uh, not as time consuming and cheaper, right? For instance, I use the example of starting a YouTube channel. If you want to start a YouTube channel, you know, write down the name of the YouTube channel. You get what I'm saying? Write down what you think the channel should be about. Um, who are you helping? You get what I'm saying? how long your video is going to be stuff like that do some research see who else is doing those type of videos and how you want to structure it all this stuff can help you get where you're going because 
you're already thinking it, right? Because you wouldn't be writing it down if you're not thinking it. Then if as you cross it off, then that's act, that means you're actually putting action or energy towards that thing. Let me give you a couple of examples of people who did what they were supposed to do despite the odds. Let's use the example of Jay-Z, right? Everybody knows Jay-Z now, right? Everybody knows the billionaire Jay-Z, right? <laughs> Interesting, right? But did you know at one point in time, Jay-Z was a rapper, a wannabe rapper that nobody wanted to sign? They would go around from record company to record company and nobody wanted to sign Jay-Z. Nobody wanted to listen to him. Now he's one of the best rappers of all time. Now we can debate on whether you like the lyrics and who's the better lyricist, this, that, that. But you can't, you can't get rid of the fact that he's he's top tier. You get what I'm saying? So, so what happened? Because Jay Z could have been like, he could have been discouraged and said, "Well, forget it. They ain't trying to hear me. I'm making money selling drugs or whatever. I, I might as well keep doing this." But he didn't do that. He hung in there. Now I'm going to tell you something that that ties into what I was telling you earlier. They started putting energy towards getting him to be the biggest rapper on the planet without the record companies. It can still be done. This is why I'm using the example. What happened is Dame Dash and uh, I forget the other guy's name is Biggs. Um, but then, yeah, I think it's Kareem Biggs. I'm not sure. But the other guy that's involved, <laughs> they got together and said, look, we're just going to pull our money. We're going to start throwing these parties. And in these parties, we're just going to have him perform. And we're just going to every time the camera's on us, it's going to look like we have all this money and we're having such a good time. And it worked. They started giving shows. They started getting his name out there and they started doing it over and over and over again. Then eventually they got enough money to release Reasonable Doubt independently of any record company. And that was the um, the start of Rockefeller Records, right? Which became a major by itself. And then Def Jam eventually uh, took took it over, right? Crazy, crazy. But they had the vision. I don't know for sure if they wrote it down. I'm sure they wrote some stuff down and they put the energy behind it, right? It's there. Richard Williams, yes. The father of Venus and Serena Williams. People know him as uh, the parent that really got his girls where they were professionally when it comes to tennis, right? Very focused. He had them practice a lot. He had them put their energy towards that, but he did something else that a lot of people don't know about, right? And I know a little bit of his story because I got into his book a little bit. Very interesting, let me tell you. But he did one thing that was very, very vital to their success. He wrote down, I believe, a 125 step plan and anytime any of those girls got off of that plan, he put them right back on the plan <laughs> because he knew you can we can we can we can talk about how smart he was. We can have we can do that debate all day long. But one thing he knew, he knew that if he had the vision, wrote it down and they accomplished each one of the things on that paper, that they would more likely have a better chance of becoming tennis champions and what happened eventually right they got in there they did the work they followed that plan and they got better and better and before you knew it they were like the top two tennis players in the world man or woman 